Hello and a very warm welcome to the FEI World Cup dressage here in Lyon, France. The FEI World Cup is the most prestigious individual competition in the international dressage calendar. A truly global series that started in 1985 that covers four leagues across the world, including the Pacific, North American, Central European and this, the Western European League. The best nine athlete and horse combinations from the Western European League will qualify for the final, which is being held in Omaha in the United States of America in April next year. The riders will have 10 chances of qualifying in nine countries over six months. But we welcome you to this, the second leg here in Longines, Equitable Lyon. We have a fabulous lineup of 15 horse and rider combinations coming forward this morning in the short Grand Prix, including horses and riders from the World Championships in Herning this summer, as well as our Olympic World Cup and European champion, and some huge names in the dressage world, including past championship medalists and World Cup champions. It is going to be a very exciting morning. They will all be looking to pick up some valuable points tomorrow and we will have a look at the start list for today's short Grand Prix in just a few moments time. I'm Natasha Baker and I am so excited to be watching along with you today. Last weekend, we had leg one in Wilhelmsburg, Denmark, and it was a victory for the Danes with the top four all scoring over 80%. The Danes really were very, very dominant out there. The win and the 20 points went to Karina Casacruth and Haleen Stansera. They scored a huge 85.925% with a new freestyle to a boy band medley. Second was Nana Marol Ramusen, who we will see today. There she was riding Blue Horse St. Euphro. They scored 82.610. And close behind was Daniel Backman Anderson and Zippo MI, a fairly Le new ride for him. They were third with 81.330. 
quatre Coupes du Monde. So the judges are just taking their seats. We can introduce them to you as well. Our judges for this morning. At E, we have Francis Isabel Jouret. At H, we have Francis Jean-Michel Roudier. At C, and our president of the grand jury today is Germany's Katrina Wurst. At M, we have Suzanne Barra from Denmark. And finally, at B, is Maliette Sanders van Ganswinkel from the Netherlands. On en parlait un tout petit peu euh, lorsqu'on s'est contacté pour ces commentaires. On a cette année un plateau qui so est complètement So just a few moments, c'est toujours le cas it's about five minutes until the first horse and rider combination come into the arena. I can tell you a few dates of the Western European League over the next six months. We'll be bringing you all the action here on FEI TV and Clip My Horse TV. Next up is Stuttgart on the 12th of November, Madrid on the 26th of November, London Excel on the 16th of December, Mechlin on the 29th of December. Then going into 2023, we have Basel on the 15th of January, Amsterdam on the 28th of January, Neumünster the 19th of February, Gothenburg the 25th of February. And finally, Satogenbosch on the 11th of March. And as I say, those finals will be out in the United States of America in Omaha. They will be in April. So while we're waiting for the first combination to come into the arena, don't forget to download the Spectator Judging app. You can find it in your Play Store or in the iTunes Store on your smartphone. You can join along and judge alongside our judges today, our panel of experts. You can see they're sitting around the arena. See how close you come to them. But here is our... He's riding tempo. Then you can see Isabel Vert is fourth to come into the arena today, riding Emilio. Further down the line there, you can see Timar Vestra in 10th, Nana Moral Ramusen in coming in 11th, then Benjamin Verndl 12th, Patrick Kittle 13th, Ginny Van Leer and Hermes NOP are bronze medalists from the World Championships. And then last to go is our Olympic World Cup and European gold medalist Jessica von Breda Verndl and TSF de Lira Bibi. I did see recently on her Instagram page that she has a brand new freestyle. So wondering if she'll be debuting that today, sorry, tomorrow in the freestyle. Very, very excited for tomorrow's freestyle. We have some incredible, incredible competitors coming forward in this World Cup qualifier. We have riders coming forward from the home nation of France we have some riders from Germany, a rider from Estonia and Belgium, a few from Sweden, a couple from the Netherlands, and a sole representative from Denmark. Nana, of course, picked up some valuable points just at the weekend. She was riding Blue Horse St. Schifro to second place in Wilhelmsburg. So already picked up some points today. She brings forward Atarup Guards Othilia. That was her ride at the European Championships last year. A very established partnership. So just a few more minutes until the first combination coming into the arena. The judges are in their seats. This is a triple header here in Lyon. We also have the World Cup jumping and World Cup driving. An early start for this short Grand Prix. And see the spectators starting to come into the arena. It's a 
very large arena here in Lyon. Plenty of atmosphere in the arena. We saw last week in Wilhelmsburg, much smaller arena and the riders actually weren't able to fit around the outside. So had to do their warm up before their test started in the arena, a much, much bigger arena here in Lyon. So the time is nearly 8.30. So we should be expecting our first horse and rider and there they are. It is for France. It is Guillaume Lundy. He's 41 years old, ranking 154th. He's riding Tempo IFCE. 15 year old Hanoverian gelding by Brentano. This combination started at International Grand Prix in 2019 and have come on leaps and bounds. This is their first ever World Cup. Last time out was in Le Mans a couple of weeks ago. They were seventh in the Grand Prix with 68.413 and third in the freestyle with 72.470. Also competed in the special in Viderbahn CDI four star in June, where they were eighth in the Grand Prix with 69.739 and 12th in the special with 68.936. So into the arena now for France is Guillaume Lundy and Tempo IFCE. A nice straight entry. Some nice steps there in the extended trot. Could just maybe have had a little bit more from behind there. Good crossing in the half passes. Little bit of a head tilt in that second half pass there. Would like to see just a little bit more suppleness through the horse's body. A lovely square hold right on the marker at sea. Again, just want to see more from behind in the extended trot. You want to see a bit of over track in the extension. Nice steps here in the PF. Nicely on the spot, some good activity. Nice and active here in the walk. You can just see him fiddling a little bit in the contact and he's just drawing back a little bit. You'd like to see more relaxation. You'd like to see him more over the back in the walk. Pretty good here in the collected walk, maintaining that activity nicely. Some good transitions from the passage to the PF. Just like to, him, to see him step more underneath, especially with that left hind there in the PF.
nice active transition into the canter and straight into the two time changes. Very nice, maintaining that straightness on the diagonal, plenty of air time in the twos. Yeah, could have had a bit, a li little bit more in the extended canter, maybe. Nice softness here in the canter zigzag. You can see just how easy he finds it to change the bend there on the line. Really lovely and soft in that canter zigzag down the center line. And now into the ones. Those looking very nice and easy. Some nice marks from the judges. Personal best of 70.087 in this test. And then they've got the ones down the center line. Again, and into the counter pirouette. Yeah, just struggled a little bit, especially there towards the end of that counter pirouette. Unfortunately, that's cost him quite a lot. A couple of fives, a four. That's a shame. So I said at the beginning, these riders would be riding the short Grand Prix, which is what it told me online. However, they are actually riding the true Grand Prix, the full test. The short Grand Prix is a more condensed version of this longer Grand Prix. It has different challenges. But this rider doing a fabulous job and a lovely halt to finish with there for Guillaume Lundy and the lovely Tempo IFCE sitting around 69%. So just off of their personal best of 70.087%. You should be very, very happy with that. A mistake-free test and really lovely lines of tempi changes. Very, very straight. I loved the canter zigzag as well down the center line. This horse just really nice and uh, and supple over the back. Just a little bit of tension showed in the walk today, which was a shame. You could just see there him drawing back and playing with a bit a little bit in the extended walk. Much better there in the collected walk. As I said, some lovely lines of changes. Just... A very small mistake in the second canter pirouette that dropped him down a little bit. Some smooth transitions from the passage to the PF. And here's a score, 68.696 from E, 68.043 from H, 71.630 from C, 69.565 from M, and 67.935 from B. A total score of 69.174. And into first place there for Guillaume Lundy. Next up, we have another rider for France. This time it is Stephanie Breisel. Stephanie is 48 years old, ranking 615th. She's riding the nine-year-old Hanoverian Stallion Devonport. 
This is just their third ever International Grand Prix, having started at this level at Deauville CDI 3 Star in July this year. They finished eighth in their first Grand Prix with 67.913 and second in the special with 67.255. They then competed at Le Mans CDI 3 Star earlier this month, scoring 69.369 for fifth place in the Grand Prix and 65.830 for 8th in the special. So into the arena now, Stephanie Breisel and Devonport for France. Stephanie herself is an established rider at this level, having competed at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games with Amarak. She finished 55th in the Grand Prix. And at the 29 Europeans in Rotterdam, she finished 41st. Lovely steps there in the extended trot, tracking up nicely. This horse has a lot of power, lots of cadence in the trot work. Beautiful crossing there. Would just like to see it a little bit steadier in the contact. Yeah, you can see just losing the balance slightly in the half pass to the left. This horse still relatively young to this level, just nine years old. Just stepping a bit wide behind in the rain back. Again, some really nice correct steps in the extended trot. Seven point five from all of the judges for the extended trot. And maintaining that lovely uphill frame in the PF. Nice smooth transition back into the passage. This house has lots and lots of swing, lots of cadence, which is lovely to see. And again, here in the walk, a huge overtrack. The horse really using its whole body to walk. Sometimes you see in the Grand Prix horses, the horses lose their ability to be able to show off this really really high quality walk work because of all the collection that they do but this horse has maintained that lovely rhythm that lovely elasticity in the walk and that's been rewarded with four eights and a nine just needs to have a bit more activity there in the collected walk Feel she could have just pushed the collected walk a little bit more from such a good walk in the extension. Some nice steps in the PF. And again, as this horse gets older and stronger, I just think that's going to get even better. You can see a little bit of traveling today. but still being rewarded with 7.5s and 7s for the PF. A little bit of swinging here in the two time changes. Like to see a little bit more straightness there on the diagonal line. Really lovely, correct changes, keeping the uphill frame, plenty of air time in the canter. And a good, clear difference there in the extended canter. Again, just needs to watch that straightness a little bit. And again, here in the canter half passes, you could just see that one a little bit quarters leading. This horse really, really supple and lovely over its back. 
just needs to get the balance right sometimes, just at times he loses the straightness, loses the balance a little bit. But I think that's because he's got such high quality good in the one time changes and coming into the canter pirouette. This needs to make sure that she's accurate on the center line. Yeah, fairly nice in the canter pirouette left again. I think once the horse becomes a little bit more balanced, she's going to be able to get that a little bit more centered. It's a little bit on the large side. At the moment, you could see a couple of steps there just stepping a little bit wide. Still sevens across the board. And then back into this really lovely trot. Again, super steps here in the extended trot. This horse really does ooze quality. And it's looking to be a good score. Oh, just lost the, the trot coming into the PF. Maybe just getting a little bit tired as he comes towards the end of the test. Some nice PF steps, though, will be marked down, though, especially in the transitions, a couple of fives from the judges for that. But a super, super job there from Stephanie Brysel and the lovely Devonport. I think they're going to be on for a plus 70%. That would be enough to take them into an early lead. This horse, as I said, just oozes quality. The trot work especially, very, very special. Plenty of cadence, plenty of elasticity. Definitely one to watch out for in the future. Just at times you could see his age coming through. You could see a couple of imbalances. But the groundwork is just all there, all the basics. One of the best extended walks I've ever seen a Grand Prix horse do. Really, really smart. And a score 70.870 from E, 70.870 from H, 72.174 from C, 70.652 from M, and 70.109 from B. A combination best score there of 70.935 and into the lead for Stephanie Brysel and Devonport. A lovely test. And now that is the score to beat. We have another rider in for France. This is Pauline Basquin. She's 44 years old, ranking 130th. She is riding Sartorius Delima ZIFCE, a 12 year old gelding by Sandra Hitt. Another combination that competed in this year's World Championships in Herning. Having only made the move to Grand Prix this year, they finished 38th in the Grand Prix with 69.938. Last time out though, they were in Le Mans, CDI three star just earlier this month. Third in the Grand Prix was 70.370 and second in the freestyle was 72.475. Their personal best score there in the freestyle. So into the arena now to Pauline Basquin and Sartorius de Lima Z IFCE. They're representing France.
Lost a little bit of the straightness coming into the first halt. It's just got a little bit distracted as well. Some nice ground cover in the extended trot. Again, could just see a little bit more coming from behind in an ideal world. As dressage riders, we, of course, want to and are striving to get the tens in every movement. Looking for those little places where we can pick up extra marks. Nice in the trot half passes and good steps in the rain back there. A lot of horses dropping onto the forehand in the rain back. This horse keeping nicely uphill, stepping in good diagonal pairs. Better there in that extended trot. And good steps here in the PF. Lost a little bit of the fluency coming out into the passage. Fairly nice in the extended walk, tracking up nicely. Again, would just like to see more relaxation over the back. Better there towards the end. Nice transition into lovely active passage. Keeping the fluency there in the PF. Maintaining the activity nicely. Just hollowed coming out of the transition from the PF into the passage. So into the twos now. Yeah, nice active two time changes. Very correct on the line, maintaining fairly good straightness. I think for the higher marks, the judges would just like to see the horse come a little bit more uphill, a little bit more ground time in those tempes, sorry, not ground time, air time. <laughs> yeah. Really nice in the positioning here in the canter zigzag. It really shows you how balanced these horses are, how supple they are. An early mistake in the one time changes. Better there towards the end. That was a real pity. It was right at the beginning.
nice and centered there on the counter pirouette. And back into the trot work. Both canter pirouettes fairly equal, I would say. So she comes down the centre line now to finish her test. Lovely activity here in the passage. Really good rhythm. Interesting there for that final PF at X. Three sevens from the judges. And then at H, we got a six. And at C, a five. So the judge at C was obviously seeing something quite different to the judges on the side. Wonder maybe whether the horse was going a little bit wide. Um, that would be interesting to see that from a different angle. But there we have Pauline Basquin and uh, Satonius de Lama ZIFCE. A lovely test there from Pauline, a really, really smart horse. This pair competed at the World Championships in Herning just a few weeks ago. Their personal best in the Grand Prix, 70.522. They're going to be very close to that today. Really good steps there in the rain back. Here we have a score. It's into second, 70.870 from E, 69.4. Five seven from H, sixty nine point one three zero from C, seventy one point four one three from M, and sixty nine point seven eight three from B. A total score of seventy point one three one, just shy of their personal best of seventy point five two two, but enough to put them into second place at these early stages of this World Cup qualifier here in Lyon. Next up, we have Isabel Vert. She's 53 years old, ranking fourth in the world. Riding Emilio 107, 16 year old Westphalian gelding. Isabel needs no introduction. She has a whopping 35 gold medals from five Olympics, seven worlds, and 15 European championships under her belt. She's won five World Cup finals in total. And if she qualifies again this year, it would be her 20th World Cup final. This combination competed back here in 2019, finished second in the Grand Prix with 77.826 and won the freestyle with 87.090. They're regulars on the World Cup circuit, but haven't competed in any since Wilhelmsburg in October 2020. In fact, they've only competed three times since then. Last time out, they had a double win. That was in Ludwigsburg, CDI four-star, with 75.261 in the Grand Prix and 84.125 in the freestyle just last month. So in the arena now, it is Isabel Wert and Emilio. that actually haven't been out of the top two placings since 2019. Isabel really is a master, just waiting there for Emilio to stand still before she salutes. She knows she would have lost marks anyway, so she may as well just wait, let him relax into the halt.
Yeah, fours and fives for the first halt. I think as a rider, though, she made a really good decision there. You don't want a horse to be fidgeting at the beginning of a test. And if she can get him relaxed in that first halt, that then sets a precedent for the rest of the test. Some good crossing in the half passes. Again, there would have just liked to see more immobility in the halt. Some good steps in the rain back. Fairly nice in the extended trot. Again, could just see a little bit more from behind. Very expressive in front. And this is where Isabel really stands out. I think she could make any horse piaf. Just lost a bit of the fluency in the transition coming into the piaf, but some really, really super piaf steps. Three eight point fives from the judges for that. See a little bit of tension creeping in here in the extended walk. Emilio can get quite hot in the arena. Isabel has to do a really good job of riding him, giving him confidence, keeping him calm. Just about tracking up in the extended walk could definitely have just shown more stretching. You can see I'm not really able to pick up much rain in the collected walk. He's already thinking about the passage. And the walk can be expensive. The extended walk and the collected walk both have double coefficient. So if you can pick up some good marks in the walk, it really can boost your score. And into canter now. Plenty of eights in the PF and the passage work. So straight into the twos. Yeah, a little mistake in the twos. Four, three fours, a six and a five for that. He looked like he was getting a little bit strong in those as well. Great steps there, though, in the extended canter. Just again, at times, you could see at the changes, just losing the balance, losing the quarters. Again, a real mix of scores from the judges for that zigzag, a five and a 7.5. Again, much more correct in that line of one times. Just for me, would have liked to have seen them a little bit more uphill. Lovely in the counter pirouette. A 
again, very, very good in the canter pirouette. A nine from the judge at C. So she comes down now. Final centre line. Currently sitting on around 72. It hasn't been mistake free. She'll be looking to build on that for tomorrow for the freestyle. Again, some good steps there in the PF. It was kind of in two halves. Just crept forward one step in the middle of the PF. But lovely, smooth transitions. And there we have it for Isabel Vert and Emilio. She was shaking her head there. She knows she's had too many mistakes to challenge for a top spot today, especially with some of the riders that we have coming forward. But still waving to the crowd. This lady really is one of the queens of dressage ridden so many horses to the top level of this sport some really super work the score is creeping up with the general impression marks now coming forward did a really good job in that walk work keeping emilio together as I said, he can get quite tense, quite hot in this kind of atmosphere. And Isabel does such a great job of just keeping him together. So at E, 69.565, at H, 71.848, at C, 75.870, at M, 75.761, and at B, 74.022 there. So into the lead with 73.413. Now we have another rider for France. This time it is Alexandra Ayash. He's 40 years old, ranking 295th. He's riding Jolene, a 10 year old Danish warm blood mare by Johnson. A new combination at International Grand Prix this year. They started in May in Lipica on a very high with a win in the Grand Prix with 69.782. Third in the special with 68.617. Each time out, they've been placed in the top four. Had a double win in Brno, CDI three star. And last time out, they were fourth in the Grand Prix with 67.891 in Onago and won the special with a personal best of 70.426. Alexander competed at the Tokyo Olympic Games on his other ride, Zowat, the individual 34th place. A score of 68.929. They then headed straight to the Europeans in Hagen. This was last year. They finished 45th with 68.354. His wife also competing here, and she is actually next into the arena. So, Alexandre Ayash and his horse, Jolene, for France. Good entry. Some nice steps in the extended trot, just getting a little bit tense down that short side of the arena as he came back from the extended trot there. 
that's a real shame sitting on seven, 7.5s and now down to fives and 5.5s. Just a little pat of reassurance there from Alexandra. Can he keep his concentration through the test? Any opportunity you can see, he's just losing concentration and looking around himself. Better there in the extended trot. Much better coming back. Really expressive horse. Lots to like. Like to see a bit more from behind there in the PF. Nice walk steps. Good over track. A really nice stretch there. Keeping the activity in the walk, keeping his attention well as well. Nice to see Alexandra just patting him, giving him the reassurance. You can see he is starting to settle as the test goes on. Again, nice in the PF steps. A couple of 7.5s. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen that line a little bit straighter for the twos. Plenty of airtime in the changes themselves. Just like to see them a little bit more balanced. Good there in the extended canter. A good clear difference shown between the extended and the collected canter. Pretty nice and supple in the zigzag as well, but having problems here in the one times. Better now. Just took a long time to establish there, unfortunately, fours across the board from the judges. Yeah, both fairly nice canter pirouettes. The pirouette to the right just had a little bit more fluency, just managed to to have a bit more balance on the hind leg.
So down the centre line now for the final PF at X. Lovely steps here in the passage. Good steps in the PF and again, nice in the transitions as they come to the final halt. That's it for Alexandra Ayash and Jolene. I thought Alexandra did a brilliant job there of really giving this horse confidence in the arena. You could see he was quite overwhelmed as he came into the arena at the beginning of that first extended trot. You could see the tension down the short side. And again, as he finished the, um, the trot half passes, you could see he was constantly reassuring Jolene. Really, really nicely, sympathetically ridden. Didn't ask too much of him. And he's come out of the arena a really, really happy, settled horse. And that will pay dividends in their freestyle tomorrow. Some nice steps in the PF. And we have a score 68.587 from E, 68.152 from H, 68.152 from C, 67.283 from M, 67.609 from B. A total score there of 67.957. And into fifth place for Alexandra Ayash and Jolene. Next up now... It is a rider for Estonia and it is actually Alexandra's wife, Greet Ayash, and she is riding Fallo Dria. Greet is 40 years old, ranked 138th. She is riding this 12 year old Lusitano. This combination have already enjoyed World Cup success in Brno in the Czech Republic, which is part of the Central European League. They won the Grand Prix with 69.457. And in the freestyle, they had their personal best and another win with 74.985. So I've already picked up a valuable 20 points. They competed at this year's World Championships in Herning. Scoring 67.236 in the Grand Prix for individual 70th place. Last time out earlier this month, they competed in Onago CDI three star. Finished sixth in the Grand Prix with 66.956 and third in the freestyle, So for Estonia is Greet Ayash and she's riding Falo Dalia. Nice entry in was just a little bit abrupt into the halt at X and then it was a little bit hard for the horse to balance into the immobility. Slightly modest in the extended trot there. I'd like to have seen a bit more of a difference between the collected trot and the extended trot. Lovely positioning in the half pass, super crossing. Yeah, again, just losing a bit of the fluency 
in the halt rein back. You can see the horse just curling up in the halt. Tracking up nicely in the extended trot. More of a different shown this time. Wonderful activity in the passage. And that's carried forward here to the PF. Now, can she get him to relax into this walk? It's a fine line when these horses are showing a bit of tension in the walk. So obviously in the extended walk, you want to be able to let the rein go, let the horse stretch. However, this horse looks like he is ready to go into the passage again. Couldn't really show any extended walk there. Three fours, two fives from the judges. And again, here in the collective walk, Greet having to ride him very tentatively. Just having a bit of an issue with the feed. Oh, and we're back. Sorry about that little blip there. Good transition up into the canter. Again, plenty air time in those two time changes. A bit of swinging though. I would definitely like to see them straighter on the diagonal line. And just cover a little bit more ground. They were quite close. So into the ones now. Again, nice and correct in the one time changes. Would just like them to, to cover a bit more ground across the whole diagonal. Just needs to watch the straightness there going into the counter pirouette. And again, they're coming out of the canter pirouette. Nice change at X. Again, just needs to be careful of the balance in those canter pirouettes.
super work here and the passage scored really, really well so far and the passage and the PF work. Nicely on the spot. Just like to see it a little bit softer over the back in that PF at X. Could just see him drawing back a little bit in the frame. And there we have it for Griteash and Faro Dalia. They are representing Estonia today. A big smile on Greet's face. Big pats for Faro Dalia. The crowd really starting to build now. They're becoming a really fabulous atmosphere in the arena. And a big thumbs up. So we just bring you those scores in just a second. I think she's going to be sitting just behind her husband, Alexandra. This horse showed a tremendous talent for the passage and the PF work. Had some real issues today in the walk. Greet having to do a really good job of keeping him together. So scores now 67.174 from E, 68.913 from H, 68.261 from C, 68.587 from M and 66.087 at B. That puts her into sixth place there. 67.804 for Greet Ayash and Faradulia for Estonia. So just one more combination to come forward now before we take a short break. It is one for Belgium, actually the sole representative of Belgium. It is Lawrence Van Amslag. She's riding Edison. Lawrence, 51 years old, ranked 34th. Edison's a 13-year-old KWPN gelding by Johnson. This combination started their season out in Wellington in Florida, where they had brilliant results, scoring 70.609 for third in the Grand Prix. Scored their personal best of 79.609 in the freestyle to take the win. They then had it back to Europe, and I've had a great summer with two second places in Wiedemann in June. Last time out in Kronenberg, CDI four-star. They were second in the Grand Prix with their personal best of 72.630. And took fourth in the freestyle with 76.850. So what can they do today? So the first rider, last rider to go before the break, Lawrence van der Slag and Edison for Belgium. Nice and straight on their entry. Some good steps in the extended trot there. Could just have seen a bit more from the hind leg. Only just about tracking up there. Nice in the trot half pass. Could see a little bit more bend through the rib cage through that rider's inside leg. Nice and accurate into the halt. Ah, 
Hallelujah. Give you glory. Same there for me in the extended trot. Just like to see more coming from behind. Yeah, the PF got better as she went on. Some nice steps there. Maintaining the rhythm. A little bit quick in the extended walk. Like to see it more over the back. Some good steps though. Tracking up nicely. Would just like to see more relaxation though. Good accurate transition into the passage. We've seen a few horses today anticipating that transition. Lost a little bit of the fluency in that PF. I feel like she asked for it a little bit early. Really nice and straight on the diagonal line. Good there in the two time changes. Actually, a little bit of swinging started to creep in in those last couple. But plenty of airtime in the changes. And again, here a really nice, clear difference in the extended canter. Covering the ground there. Could have collected the canter more coming into that flying change coming back from the extended canter it actually says on the test collected canter and flying change of leg she actually did the flying change while she was still pretty much in the extended canter did the change and then asked for the collection Lovely and forward here in the one time changes. If I'm being really picky, I would have just liked to have seen that frame a little bit more open in the ones for another mark. Nicely balanced in the cancer pirouette. And lovely and straight there on the center line. Maintaining that nice uphill tendency. Good activity here in the passage down the centre line. Really good rhythm in the passage. Keeping the uphill tendency. Just lost a little bit of the fluency there coming into the PF. But good PF steps. Much better transition back into the passage. Okay. 
and into a lovely square hole there to finish for Lawrence at Van Abslag and Edison. A great test there. The final test before we go into a very short break. Has she done enough to overtake Isabel? It's going to be fairly close, I think. Just waiting for one more judge to confirm their score before we can bring that to you. A really, really lovely job. Some really great lines of tempi changes. Some lovely PF work. Needed a little bit more relaxation in the walk. But here's the score, 69.130 from E, 73.370 from H, 75% from C, 71.630 from M, and 71.087 from the judge at B. That's a total score of 72.043 and enough to put Lawrence into second place there with Edison for Belgium. But we still have... A fair few combinations to go, eight combinations to come in the second half. So we just take a short break now, but we will be back with you. The next rider to come into the arena is at 9.43. It's Morgan Barbasson and Sir Donahall OLD. But in the lead at the moment is Isabel Vert and Emilio 107. They're on a score of 73.413. You can just see the leaderboard there. Lawrence, who we just saw on 72.043. Stephanie Brysel in third place with 70.935, a combination best. So make sure you join us back in just a few moments' time for the second part of this Grand Prix World Cup qualifier for the Western European League here in Lyon.
Comme ils ont fait une toute petite pause, on prend un petit café et puis on continue dans 60 minutes pour le, le début du deuxième bloc avec ma chère Yarna qui est tout de suite. Ne partez pas, je vous rappelle. Welcome back after that very short break. You can see the judges rushing back into the arena because our next rider is already in. It is Morgan Barbaton and Sir Donahall, the second OLD. Morgan is 30 years old, ranked 33rd in the world. Sir Donahall, the second, is 16 year old Oldenburg Stallion by Sandro Hit. Damn Sire Donahall, the second. Morgan has already achieved so much for her young age, having been to London 2012 and Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, World Championships and many Europeans as both senior and young rider. Also a very regular face on the World Cup circuit and has competed at five finals. Last year, Morgan and Gus, as he is known to his friends, finished 24th in the Grand Prix at the Tokyo Olympic Games with 70.543. They then headed to Hagen for the European Championships, coming 25th in the Grand Prix, scoring 71.941 and 23rd in the special with 71.109. This year finished 20, 32nd at the World Championships in Herning. So into the arena now for France, it is Morgan Barbasson and Sir Don Hall II, OLD.
this horse is very tall, very elegant, has enormous amounts of expression. A very established pair, these two. Super crossing here in the half pass. Oh, just lost the balance there towards the end. Better there to the left. Good steps in the rain back. Hard to see from that camera angle if it was square or not. Tracking up there in the extended trot. Again, for the bigger marks, you would just like to see a little bit more ground cover. Lovely activity in the passage. Just like to have seen that maintained a little bit more in the piaf but really good rhythm. Good steps there in the extended walk. Maintaining that activity well here in the collective walk. I think for the again for the higher marks in the walk, you'd just like to see a little bit more relaxation in the extended walk. Yeah, started nicely in the PF and then just dropped her slightly towards the end. Just needed to have a little bit more behind to push up into that uphill PF. 6.5 from four of the judges for the transition and a seven. And three 6.5s and two sevens for that PF. This horse has huge flying changes, really, really covers the ground in those. And in this extended canter as well. Nicely ridden there by Morgan. Two 8.5s and three 7.5s for that. Nice and symmetrically ridden there. A lot of the riders sometimes you see riding more half past one way than the other. That was nice and centred on the centre line, showing equal steps left to right. Again, nice and accurate in the line of one time changes. Lovely and balanced in the counter pirouette. Yeah. 
and lovely canterpillar up there to the right as well. A little bit of a blip in the transition to the collected trot. Lovely frame here in the passage. Really, really nice. Maintained the activity nicely down this final centre line. And into her final halt there for Morgan Barbasson. A really, really well-ridden test there. Such a lovely horse, Sir Donahall the second OLD. Morgan really, really has such a strong bond with him. He's actually lucky to be here. He had a stable accident a few years ago in Falsabro where he ended up having to be sawn out of his stable with significant leg injuries. Had to undergo an operation and Morgan was told that he would never be a competitive horse again and certainly wouldn't make it to Grand Prix. So incredibly, incredibly fortunate to get through that horrific incident. And I think that it's brought them even closer together. She said she's lucky to have such a fighter underneath the saddle and it's a true testament of love I thought she rode that really really nicely lovely harmony a few discrepancies actually in the scores towards the end so for the second canter we had one judge giving a five with other judges up to eight and then the transition from canter to collected trot one judge, I think, missed the mistake and, and gave a seven. The others on fours and fives, and one gave a two. Um, so very, very interesting there. So we have a score to bring you. 70.391 into fourth place. Sorry, I'm a little bit premature. That score hasn't been confirmed. That's a provisional score. We will bring you the confirmed score in just a moment. I think some, yes, some of those scores that I just said was a large difference has now been corrected. So the score has now been confirmed and we will bring that to you in just a moment. Next into the arena, though, is Antonia Ramel. She's 37 years old, ranked 49th, riding curiosity, a 13-year-old Holstein Gelding. The combination have already picked up points by competing at the Budapest World Cup qualifier. Second in the short Grand Prix with 72% and fourth in the freestyle with 73.250. Also competed in Arkan CDIO five-star in July, finished 29th in the Grand Prix with 69.631. So into the arena now, the first representative of Sweden, Antonia Ramel and Curiosity. So we will bring you the score of Morgan after this test. A great entry for Antonia. Eights across the board for that first halt. This rider extremely well known and a regular on the Swedish team competed her other ride brother Dijoux in the 2019 European Championships helping clinch the bronze medal for Sweden and also the Tokyo Olympic Games where they finished 24th individually and in the special and then 6th in the team. Nice in the trot half pass. It's slightly better, I would say, to the right than the left.
again some good steps in the extended trot just about tracking up lovely activity in the passage yeah started well in the piaf just got a little bit earthbound towards the end still some really nice steps but i think there's more there if she could keep that activity and maintain that through the whole piaf that is definitely going to be a high scoring movement for her lovely relaxation here in the wall good over track really really super walking through the body over the back lovely relaxation Just getting a little bit tight in the walk here in the collective walk. After such a lovely extended walk, it's a shame that you just got a little bit tight over the back there in the collective walk. Yeah, I would say the PF there was better. Just lost it in the transition, coming back out into the passage. Just got a little bit long. nicely forward into those two time changes using that whole diagonal line nice and straight Yeah, slightly modest in the extended canter. I felt like she could have really gone for that a little bit more. I'd have liked to have seen a bit more ground coverage. Good coming back, though, into the flying change and nicely set up for this canter zigzag. Just lost the quarters there after that last change. Just needs to watch the balance in the change, keeping the straightness. Yeah, a small mistake behind in the first third of those one-time changes. The rest were really good. Again, lots of ground cover, really using that whole diagonal line. So a real pity about that. Nice into the counter pirouette, really well balanced there. Keeping that counter rhythm maintaining that lovely uphill tendency lovely and centered Yeah, I think that was probably her best extended trot in this test. Little bit of a head tilt there going around the corner onto the center line. And lovely activity here in the passage. Good transition into the PF. Can she have it, maintain it on the way out? Yeah, better. Stayed more with her. Just one step that got a little bit long that time. Sevens from all of the judges for the transition. And into the final halt there for Antonia Ramel and Curiosity. A really super job from this 13-year-old Holstein Gelding. Beautifully ridden by Antonia.
a really, really super test. Their personal best is 72.91, 72.109, sorry. And I think they may have overtaken that, which is fantastic. A really, really super test. Shame about that mistake in the one-time changes because I think that could be then a challenging mark for Isabel. Some super steps there at the beginning in the trot half passes. And a score, 72.935 from E, 73.478 from H, 73.478 from C, 72.609 from M, and 71.196 from the judge at B. So a total score there and a combination best score of 72.739%. And into second place there from Antonia Ramel and Curiosity, from Sweden. Now in the arena, it is the first representative of the Netherlands. It is Timar Vestra. She's 40 years old, ranked 35th. She's riding Hexagon's Ikvice, a nine-year-old NRPS stallion by Hexagon's Rubiquil out of a Negro mare. Another combination that competed at this year's World Championships in Herning. They finished 24th in the Grand Prix with 72.376 and 20th in the Special with 73.359. They then went on to Budapest World Cup qualifiers, part of the Central European League and were 4th in the Short Grand Prix with 70.579 and won the Freestyle with 77.120 picking up a valuable 20 points for the league. So into the arena now is Tamar Vestra from the Netherlands riding Hexagon's Ikvice. Tamar is a regular on the World Cup circuit, competed at the finals in Leipzig with this horse in April, finishing 15th in the Grand Prix. They scored 70.583. And 11th in the freestyle was 75.125. You may know her from riding her other horse, Hexagon's Double Dutch. Just left a hind leg out in the first halt down the centre line, which was a pity, but some good steps in the extended trot. Would just like to see him a little bit more over the back there in the trot half passes. A little bit more suppleness through the body. Again, not quite square into that halt at sea, but some nice steps in the rain back. Tracking up nicely in the extended trot. Very striking grey stallion. Nicely on the spot in the PF. Some good steps there. And some nice transitions. Keeping the fluency. Good relaxation here in the walk. Nice ground cover in the extended walk. Good stretching and nine from one of the judges. Three seven point fives and an eight. Lovely frame here in the collective walk. Maintaining that relaxation.
again super in the activity there in the PF. Again, just at times, I'd just like to see this horse a little bit softer through the body, a little bit more supple over the back. Just at times, he looks like he's just holding himself in the back. Really smart into these two times. And again, a good clear difference there in the extended canter. Really, really covering the ground there. Could maybe just have extended the frame a little bit as well as the stride. Yeah, nicely balanced through the canter zigzag. And she comes into the ones now. Nicely ridden. Again, plenty of air time, lots of ground cover in those changes. Pretty nice into the counter pirouette. Again, nicely centered, keeping that straightness down the center line. Again, I'd say both counter pirouettes fairly equal in both directions. Doing a really, really great job in this test looking to challenge Isabel's score and potentially on for a personal best as well. Their PB 72.956, currently trending around 73.1. Really lovely here in the passage. Super transition into the PF. Keeping that activity well, keeping the regularity, and again, a lovely smooth transition back into the passage. And into her final halt. Unfortunately, not a square one, but a great test there from Tamar Vestra and Hexagon's Ig Weiss. A super, super job, really well ridden. She seems incredibly happy with that. Is it going to be enough to put her into the lead? I think it might be a new personal best. Fantastic. She looks ecstatic with her test today. So at the moment, the score to beat is 73.413 and that's from Isabel Vert and Emilio. So we just watched the highlights of Team Alvestra's test. A really, really super job. Very consistent throughout. Some good work in the passage and in the PF. Nice transitions, really super in the walk. And we have a score 75.9109 from E, 71.848 from H, 71.630 from C, 73.696 from M, and 73.587 from B. A personal best score of 73.174 there for Tamar Vestra and Hexagon's Ick Vice. So we come on to our final five competitors now. 
and what a final five they are. This is going to really shake up the leaderboard. So in the arena next, we have Nana Moral Ramusen, and she's riding Utter Up Guards Ophelia, 17-year-old Oldenburg mare by Graboldi. An extremely established combination. They qualify for the World Cup finals in April after competing successfully here in Lyon last year, as well as Neumünster, where they scored their PB in the freestyle of 84.48%. In the finals, they finished fourth in the short Grand Prix with 75.752 and were fifth in the freestyle with 81.239%. So in the arena now for Denmark, Nana Marola Musen and Utterup Guards Othilia. Last time out was in Aachen CDIO five star in July. They were 12th in the Grand Prix with 73.348 and 15th in the special, 72.277. This pair also competed together at last year's European Championships. They finished 10th in the Grand Prix, helping Denmark win that team bronze medal. They scored 75.078 and 12th in the special. And the freestyle with 78.904. This horse was previ previously ridden by Great Britain's Fiona Bigwood, who won Team Silver with her at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Nice here in the half pass to the left. Much better through the body to the left there, picking up higher marks than the half pass to the right. And good steps in the rain back. Super activity here in the Passage and what a gorgeous transition there into the PF, maintaining that activity nicely. Plenty of eights, 8.5s from the judges. So the only thing that could have made that better is just having the pole a little bit higher in the Passage and the PF work there. Nice steps in the walk. Not the biggest over track. Keeping the rhythm though. And then I had a great time in Wilhelmsburg last weekend picking up a second place with Blue Horse St. Chifro. So going to be looking to add some points to the league here in Lyon. Again, really super here in the Passage. This horse can really sit and take that weight in the hind leg. Smooth transitions. And lovely in the passage. Plenty of air time there in the changes using that whole diagonal line. Fairly nice and straight.
Yeah, some nice steps there in the extended canter. Could just see her with her mouth open though. So not scoring as highly as she would like. Nicely balanced through the canter zigzag. Again, just at times you can see her just playing with the bit a little bit and that will be marked down by the judges. And again, just there towards the end of the one time changes. And again, there, just an open mouth in the counter pirouette. Nana doing a really good job of trying to keep that secure connection. Contact does seem to be a little better here in the trot work. This horse really does ooze quality. I think if Nana can just keep that nice secure contact with the stillness, then she will be picking up a lot of marks. Really super again in the passage and lovely transitions into the PF. Again, you can see the open mouth towards the end of the PF and again here in the passage. If you take away that, it should be on 8.5s. And a lovely finish there for Nana Marola Musen and Atarap Guards Ophelia. Their combination best, 75.078. It's going to be fairly close to that. We've got some differences in some of the scores. That second canter pirouette, a 6 and a 6.5 from two judges, an eight from one judge, a 7.5 and a seven. So, oh, and actually one of them's just marked down to a 5.5. And again, for the passage towards the end, a five from one of the judges, a cup, a few eights and 7.5, but the mouth was open. So really difficult when the quality is there, but you see that tension in the mouth. Obviously, it has to be marked down. It's the overall picture. 75.978 from E, 73.043 from H, 76.413 from C, 75.217 from M, and 71.196 from B. An overall percentage score of 74.369%. And into the lead, therefore, Nana Marol Ramusen and Atarap Guards Othilia. And watch the highlights here. As I said, just oozing quality in that passage and PF work. Very, very smart. But now into the arena, it is a rider for Germany. Our second representative of Germany, it is Benjamin Vandal. He's 38 years old, ranked 14th in the world. Riding for Moso OLD, a 13-year-old Oldenburg Gelding. A member of the bronze medal winning team from Herning World Championships a couple of months ago. They improved each day, finishing sixth in the Grand Prix with 77.003%. Fifth in the special with 78.237%. And fourth in the freestyle with 85.893%, scoring personal bests in each test. This is their first time back in the arena since then. But they have had a fantastic season together. 
never placing outside of the top eight and not scoring below 74%. So in the arena now for Germany, it is Benjamin Verndl and Famoso OLD. A nice start, a good entry from this partnership. A lot of harmony between this pair. They are really a joy to watch. I thoroughly enjoyed watching them in Herning and seeing their improvement over the three days. They really, really came into their own. Beautiful crossing in the half pass to the left. And again, equally matched, just really lovely and supple through the body into a really soft contact. Good square halt and nine from one of the judges for the half pass left. Yeah, could just do with a little bit more ground coverage, especially from behind in the extended trot, not this horse's highlight. Super. Super transitions, really good in the passage. Maintains that activity nicely in the PF. Huge overtrack again here in the extended walk. Lovely relaxation. You can see him taking the stretch down and out, remaining on the vertical. Losing a bit of the activity there in the collected walk. Just needs to watch the rhythm a little. And good coming back into the passage. This horse just remains uphill in everything he does. Four eights and a 7.5 for the PF. Super transitions. Just so smooth, so fluent. As I said at the beginning, this partnership is the epitome of harmony. Really good in the two time changes. Oh, just lost the balance there towards the end of the extended canter. That's a real pity. Started off beautifully and then just went a little bit onto the shoulder towards the end. Again, really showing off how supple this horse is, how easy he is to manoeuvre. And that's what that zigzag is all about.
Now into the canter pirouettes. A combination best of 77.003. Very good in the canter pirouette. A nine from one of the judges. A couple of 8.5s. And again, just so beautifully balanced in the canter pirouettes. What I love about this combination is the frame just never changes. This horse remains soft, it, may, it remains supple, it remains over the back, no matter what Benjamin asks of him. And that really, really is testament to their relationship, testament to their partnership. Benjamin's got lovely soft hands beautifully ridden into the pf a nine and 8.5 from the judges super in the transitions have we got a new leader i think we might have super activity throughout that whole test and he's punching the air. Benjamin Verndl and Famoso OLD for Germany. A true master. He's really come into the limelight over the last few years. His sister is the current Olympic and European and World Cup champion. They are so supportive of each other. And what a test that was personal best score of 77.717 it's going to be close to that today i think he may have done enough to go into the lead but how long can he keep it we've got another three combinations to come forward he's in the lead 77 percent 77.935 from e 73.152 from h 79.022 from c 78.043 from m and 76.848 from the judge at b just a smidgen of his personal best score but it's enough to take him into the lead here in Lyon. A few combinations still to go, though, that could challenge him for the top spot. So next into the arena, it is Patrick Kittle. He is representing Sweden. He's 46 years old, ranked eighth in the world, riding touchdown, a 10-year-old Swedish warm blood gelding. Another combination coming hot off the back of the World Championships in Herning this year. They also improved each day, finishing 11th in the Grand Prix with 76.522, 10th in the Special with 75.486, and danced their way to 7th in the Freestyle with 83.679 with a James Bond medley. So into the arena now for Sweden. It is Patrick Kittel and touchdown. So they were just behind Benjamin Verndl and Famoso OLD at the World Championships. Another really super talented horse. Gorgeous there in the extended trot. This horse again has so much expression. Enormous reach there in the trot half passes. Just like to see a little bit more softness there 
in the half pass to the left. Again, over tracking beautifully in the extended trot, opening that frame as well as lengthening the stride. Really, really super there. We've seen a lot of horses today in the extended trot, not even tracking up. Some of them just about managing to track up this horse, really, really equally matching in the hind leg to the forelimb. Lost a bit of the fluency and the transition from the P after the passage. Some nice steps in the walk. Really lovely and forward walking over the back nicely. Not the biggest over track that we've seen, but actually very correct in the walk. Again, nicely on the spot in the PF. It's just those transitions where he loses the connection. You just want to see a smooth transition into the PF and a smooth transition out. Still scoring sevens from most of the judges. But that's definitely where he could be picking up some more marks. Good, into the twos. Three seven point fives, a seven and an eight for those. And huge ground cover there in the extended canter. A good, clear difference shown. Yeah, pretty nice there in the canter zigzag. Again, I felt like he was able to travel more to the left than to the right. Just want to see when they do that canter zigzag an equal distance from the left to the right in the half passes. Kept the balance really nicely though, and good into the one time changes. Really neat in the canter pirouettes. Very nicely centered, keeping the balance well. Lots of eights. Super extended trot. As they come down the final center line, what can they do? It's the transitions that's held them back a little bit. Great here in the passage. Slightly better there in the transition into PF. 
yeah, again, just in that transition back out into the passage. Not sure he did quite enough steps in the PF either. But a beautiful square hole to finish there for Patrick Kittle and touchdown for Sweden. Big, big pats for touchdown. Masterfully, masterfully ridden, as always, by Patrick Kittle, hot off the back of the World Championships in Herning just a few months ago. This combination in the top 10 in both the special and the freestyle. He definitely is a crowd pleaser. He's a crowd favourite. Everybody loving it, giving a great reaction. Is it going to be enough to overtake Benjamin? Benjamin sitting out in front on 77%. Patrick was trending. Oh, and here we go. 75.261 there for Patrick into second. 76.413 from E. 74.457 from H. 76.522 from C. 74.239 from M. And 76.674 from B. A great score there for Patrick, putting him into second place behind Benjamin Vandal and Famoso OLD. So just two more combinations to come forward now. The spectator judges did really well in Patrick's test. They rewarded 75.522. The judges rewarded 75.261, so very close between those two. So at the moment, Benjamin Vandal out in front, 77%. Patrick Kittle in second place, 75.261. And in third, Nana Moral Ramusen, 74.369%. So it appears we may have had a withdrawal from Dinya Van Leer and Hamez NOP. I think that's why we've got a little pause. That would be such a shame if she's not coming forward. If that is the case, our next partnership will be Jessica von Braden Vandal, and she is last to go. She's riding. TSF Delera BB. Yeah, I think we have had a withdrawal from Dinya Van Leer and Hermes. That's a real shame. They were our double bronze medalists from the World Championships a few months ago. A really lovely young stallion. So we just have a little break. Jessica is due to come into the arena at 10.46. She will be able to come in a little sooner if she wishes and if she's ready or she is able to stick to her time. So we will be back in a few moments when Jessica comes forward. So it's going to be a sibling rivalry, isn't it? Benjamin out in the lead with 77% and his sister, our Olympic champion, Jessica von Bredenvandel, is next into the arena. Can they get a 1-2? So we just watched some of the highlights of the competitors that we've seen in the second half of the Grand Prix. And we will bring you Jessica's test as soon as she enters the arena.
Malheureusement, euh, oui, nous le devons. Donc, ça, ça doit être un peu une bataille de frères et sœurs. Alors, ça fait partie du monde de Lyon, j'imagine. Euh, je suis déjà Benjamin, Benjamin, je suis là. Euh, évidemment, sur le papier, on a envie de dire bah, voilà, avec, euh, avec ce qui se passe, c'est impossible de nous accorder ces dernières années. C'est maintenant, oui, espérons que tu gardes ce qui est là et ces valeurs. Et au lieu de tout ça, moi, je voudrais dire que j'ai passé un moment incroyable avec ma famille et mes amis. Et puis que la grâce du Seigneur soit sur toi et Marc, et que tu sois toujours aussi bien avec ta famille, avec tes amis, avec ton frère, avec ta sœur, avec tes copines, avec tes copains. Et que vraiment, on, on est vraiment content de, de ce moment qu'on a passé ensemble. Et puis que tu sois avec nous pour que le Seigneur soit sur toi, avec nous, pour que le Seigneur te réveille dans tes besoins. Euh, euh, voilà, et que euh, bah, tu puisses encore plus être riche, riche en Christ et en tout ce que le Seigneur peut te donner. Et avec euh, ce qu'il a fait pour toi, mais aussi pour ton frère et ta sœur. Now this is the one we've all been waiting for. It is the fabulous Jessica von Brandelvandel. She's 36 years old, ranked number one in the world, riding TSF Delera BB, a 15-year-old Trocana mare by Easy Game. This combination need little introduction, our current Olympic, European and World Cup champions. They haven't been beaten since Tokyo 2020, where they won the individual and freestyle gold with their personal best scores of 84.666 and 91.732. They then went on to win triple gold at the Europeans in Hagen last year. Then to top it all off, they became World Cup winners in Leipzig in April this year with 84.793%. They scored 90.836 in the freestyle and she did that whilst being five months pregnant. She gave birth to her daughter, Ella Marie, on the 11th of August this year at the same time as we were enjoying the World Championships in Herning. Now just 11 weeks on, she is back out competing. 
This lady really is a superhero. Now with seven gold medals to their name, I am sure she'll be looking to add more. They have a direct place to the 2023 World Cup finals as long as they compete in two World Cup qualifiers. So with one down and one to go, it's looking very exciting for this pair. For Germany, it is Jessica von Breidewandel and TSF Delira BB. So great to see them back in the whiteboards. She really is remarkable after giving birth 11 weeks ago. Carried on riding pretty much right the way up to giving birth. So Delera hasn't had too long out of action and Jessica hasn't had too long out of the saddle. Again, this pair just ooze harmony. Beautiful there in the trot half passes. Just lovely and soft through the body. Little bit abrupt into the halt, but a lovely square one. Keeping that uphill tendency. And this is where this combination come into their own. The PF and Passage work is just beautiful. Seamless transition into the PF, maintaining that wonderful activity and beautifully back into the Passage. Two tens, our first two tens, lots of nines. Wonderful relaxation here in the walk. Good ground cover. Super rhythm in the walk, maintaining that through here into the collective walk. Lost a bit of activity in the collective walk. And again, super into the Passage PF work. Another 10. Splattering of nines, plenty of eights and 8.5s. their personal best of 84.666 in the Grand Prix. Currently trending around 81. Those two time changes looking effortless across the diagonal, beautifully straight, beautifully balanced, beautifully uphill. And again, the same, showing a good clear difference in the extended canter, really covering the ground beautifully. Again, oh, just broke there, coming into the ones. Well rescued by Jessica. Back 
That's really difficult because obviously she had the break at the beginning of that line, but it didn't actually affect the line of ones, but the judges have got to mark it down somewhere. So they've had to give that line fives and 5.5s. Just pulled her below 80%. I'm sure she can make up for that. Two really nicely balanced counter pirouettes. The one to the right slightly better than the one to the left. Again, not her strongest point, these extended trots. You can just see you'd like a little bit more from the hind leg. So she is tracking up in the extensions. Still, this mare just so beautifully elegant. What a partnership this is. Just so wonderful to watch. More tens, more nines, 9.5s. Picking back up to over 80%. And there we have it for our Olympic champion, Jessica von Brandenvandel. And the crowd are loving it. Jessica is so happy to be back competing after her very, very short baby break. She thinks the absolute world of this horse. And TSF Delera just gives her absolutely everything. I've always said if you can find a good mare, they just give you their heart. And TSF Delera has definitely done that for Jessica. They work just so, so beautifully as a partnership. It really, it really is so beautiful to watch. This mare just so relaxed in everything that she does, really trusts her rider and gives her absolutely everything. 80.326 from E, 81.087 from H, 81.957 from C, 81.739 from M, and 83.587 from B. A total average mark of 81.739, and into the lead for Jessica von Brandon Vandel. She is back with a bang and back where she exactly wants to be at the top of the leaderboard. Our only rider to score over 80% in this Grand Prix test. She takes the win. Her brother is in second for Germany, Benjamin Vandal on 77%. Patrick Kittel for Sweden in third, 75.261. With touchdown, Nana Marovla Musen in fourth with Utter Up Guards Othelia, 74.369. Isabel Vert for Germany, she is in fifth, 73.413. Timo Vestra in sixth, she had a personal best today, 73.174. Antonia Rommel in seventh, 72.739. And Lawrence Vanumslag. For Belgium in 8th, 72.043 and in 8th. We'll see those 8 placed riders come forward for the prize giving that we're just getting ready for now. What a fantastic, fantastic morning of sport that we have seen. Such a shame to not see Dinia van Leer come forward today. That would have been really, really interesting to see where she would have placed in this competition. She was our double bronze medalist from the World Championships, double individual bronze medalist from the World Championships. So it would have been really interesting to see where she would have been placed. I would have imagined she would have been in the top three but unfortunately we're not going to see that today so all of these riders all 14 of these riders will be coming forward for the freestyle tomorrow so make sure you tune in for that that's going to be a great competition to watch we will be bringing that to you at four o'clock local time 
tomorrow afternoon. Our arena team doing a great job of getting the arena ready for our presentation for the winners. Very excited to be watching the freestyle tomorrow. I did see on Jessica's Instagram page that she has created a new freestyle plan. So I wonder if she's going to be riding that tomorrow. Always really enjoyed her La La Land. So we just wait for the prize giving of just a few moments. You can enjoy the show jumping class whilst we wait for the prize giving in just a few moments time. 